CodeAcademy.com, look for the Login button next to the Sign Up button in the top right-hand corner. Choose Login. Paste the username that I sent you in your email. And the password is 123Albertus. Click Login and you'll see the course that we're um, using this semester. It's called Learning HTML and CSS. If you click Start, you'll see this window here where there is information to read on the left-hand side. There's a window for coding in the middle that's a gray coding window with HTML markup language. You can see that. Mm -hmm. And then on the right-hand side, um, this is how the HTML is going to display in the browser. So you see over here on the right-hand side what the web page will actually look like. Uh, in order to complete these lessons, you'll want to read through all of the instructions, which are over on the left side. And then you'll want to do the activity that they want you to practice in the gray window. And that will include hitting the Run button to update any changes that you make to the web page. And you can see that Code Academy gives you badges as you work. That was a little badge over in the corner. Down in the bottom bar, you'll see what unit you're on, what is HTML. You'll also see the number of lessons that are in the unit, and you can do back and next. So we're going to hit Run. And then you'll notice there's a little red hint down at the bottom and asks, did you replace the text between H1 and H1, those tags? And we did not. So we want to make sure that you do everything that's in the instructions over here on the left. So over here on the left it says to type your name in between the H1 tags. So we're going to find that on the page and we'll see over here the H1 tags say an unexpected journey. And I'm going to just change that to my name. And then if I hit run that updates over here on the web page. And now that I've successfully completed the instructions, I can click Next in the bottom bar. And you'll see that I've gone on over here to number two doc type. Um, that's another lesson. And over here on the left, you'll find more instructions for yourself to try. And you will. And when you do, you'll be able to go through all the different um, instructions. If you want to see how many lessons there are in this unit, you can click here um, where it says doc type in the bottom. There's a little tiny bar. And if you click on those little three bars, you'll see where you are in the unit. And we're in the unit called structure. And you'll see that there's nine different um, activities to do. They are locked until you do the previous activity. So they build upon each other and you'll be able to go forward. So be sure when you're working that you do the number of lessons that you want to do. So not just um, the lesson called structure, but inside the lesson structure you want to do the number of exercises that are listed there. And I'll try to make that as clear as possible when I'm setting up the assignments for each week.